What is going on guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your very first lesson in how to build a Java stock market analyzer program. Now in this series, what we're pretty much going to be building is a program written in Java entirely and we're going to do things like look at trends of the stock market, analyze the uh, historical data and kind of pretty much find the best stocks to buy depending on what time it is and not not like time like nine o'clock but you know based on just data that was proven in the past kind of find the best stocks to buy and how to analyze that and it's pretty cool I just uh, thought of this program thought it would be a neat idea so I figure why not teach you guys as well so um, and another thing you don't need to be an expert in the stock market because trust me I'm not and uh, this is pretty much just learning how to program in Java and we might as well put it to use building a nice little uh, program so in order to analyze data the first thing we need is data and lucky for us Yahoo gives us free data what kind of folks they are and here's what you need to do to get it and you can do this for any stock you want I'm gonna just do mine for Dow Jones probably so go ahead and in finance or whatever I'm gonna go ahead and click that Dow um, on the left side of your screen you see this little thing right here that says historical prices go ahead and click and if you want to search for a stock you want to do and actually you can download a bunch of files and you can run them through this program now analyze the data for you but I'm just gonna start with one right now the Dow Jones average so once you click on historical prices in Yahoo Finance you get this huge list of prices since the stock first um, was opened to the current day so this includes the date the open price high low close the volume and the adjusted close and this is all the data that we're going to be analyzing so how awesome is that that we just got access to free data but we can't just uh, use it right from the site we actually need to download it so if you scroll all the way down Yahoo gives you option that says download to spreadsheet so let's go ahead and let's open this with either notepad or notepad plus plus and go ahead and click OK and once you do that you see that it gives us this huge huge list of all the data in the history of the Dow Jones so this is kinda of overwhelming if we want to do uh, analyze this ourselves so that's why we need to build a computer program to do it so let's go ahead and we can't just um let's go ahead and select all of this using file or, or edit there we go select all and let's go ahead and edit cut this and in a new file paste it again so paste all of that now the thing is all of these rows are useful except this very top row right here date open high low close volume and adjust the close those are seven different things but when we're analyzing this data we can't have that row in there so go ahead and write that down so you know what each one of these means and go ahead and delete it so now we want to get rid of that first row entirely because it's just gonna mess us up so now we have all this data without that you know we don't want the title in there because that's for sure we just want the data to analyze so let's go ahead and where do we want to put this file well what we want to do is put file save as and if you go to your computer right on your C drive make a folder called stocks S T O C K S and in that folder save this file is a new DAO I'll do it with you new DAO dot C S V and what CSV means is pretty much a file that's separated by commas in uh, in essence it's what like Microsoft Excel reads and stuff like that but save it as new DAO CSV in the stocks folder that way we have it in the same place menu so go ahead and click save and I already have one and I'm gonna replace it right now so now what we pretty much have is this file in that location so now we can begin analyzing it so go ahead and I'm just gonna cancel that actually I'm gonna click no and get out of here and let me see how much time I have it won't even tell me so now what we need to do is well now that we have the data 
we're good to go for the next tutorial. So this tutorial is pretty much getting that stock data. And again, you don't have to do it with the Dow Jones. You can get it with any stock you want. But make sure you have some sort of data to use. And uh, once you do, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial where we're going to start analyzing and programming it. And I'm going to make it real simple for you guys. So um, for now, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to check out the next tutorial where we will be putting this data to use. So again, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then.